Welcome to the SCLD podcast, where we talk about all the things you can do and find at the library. Hello, I'm Erin Dodge, Communication Specialist here at Spokane County Library District. Today I'm talking to Mike Ulrich, uh, Principal Transportation Planner at the Spokane Regional Transportation Council, and Wendy Wilbur, um, Project Manager at Kittleson Associates. And today we are discussing the Regional Safety Action Plan, uh, what it is, and how people in Spokane County can provide input And uh, welcome, Mike and Wendy. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay, great. Um, What is SRTC? Uh, What does it do? Sure. What are you guys about? Yeah. (laughs) So SRTC, or Spokane Regional Transportation Council, is the lead transportation planning agency for Spokane County. So we're a member agency, which means that each of the jurisdictions within Spokane County are members of our agency. And SRTC uh, is a federal designation, so it's uh, large metropolitan areas all over the country have what they call metropolitan planning organizations, which SRTC is one. And so we serve that function to uh, be the lead lead planning agency for uh, transportation. I was going to say transportation is kind of the key element that brings all those folks together to one Exactly. Yeah, and we serve a lot of functions. the primary function that obviously we're here to talk about today is the, our coordination role. So we are really a convener of all of those jurisdictions within Spokane County. And the idea is that we bring everybody together in, in, a, in a boardroom, literally. Um, <laughs> and, and so our, our board is made up of elected officials from those jurisdictions within Spokane County. And we coordinate on, on uh, transportation planning. And so um, really we're a convener, we're a coordinator, um, and we're, uh, we try to bring in the public into that conversation to right. – um, make the best plans we can for the transportation network in Spokane County. Great. And um, <clears throat> we're talking about today, we're going to focus on the regional safety action plan. Mm-hmm. So what is that? And, and what is its focus? Sure. So uh, I should, ba- I should back up to the beginning, maybe Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the U S DOT, uh, the department of transportation made uh, a program, created a program called uh, safe streets and roads for all. Oh, nice. And that federal program was really intended to distribute money nationwide to jurisdictions to focus on safety planning or, okay. and the tra- on the transportation network. And so they made all these grant this grant program available where jurisdictions could go to this grant program, apply for money to really uh, bolster their uh, safety planning uh, on, on the transportation network. So uh, we did that. We applied for a federal grant and were awarded four hundred thousand dollars to develop this regional safety action plan. Oh, good. And that plan really intends to analyze the safety uh, related issues that we're having in our region and develop a plan to mitigate those issues. Um, So we're looking at all of the data that's available to us, Mm -hmm. um, crash data to look at how people have been seriously injured and killed on the transportation network, uh, gather public input uh, around those, those issues, and then develop a plan to to try to develop solutions for those issues. All right. Well, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm like, there's one spot on one street that I hate. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get to how you can tell us about it. Yeah. Exactly. All yeah. right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, well, let, first let's talk about like, okay, so let's talk about the specifics of what they assess. So sure. you, you mentioned um, people getting injured and are possibly dying due to traffic accidents. Is that mm-hmm. is that the main thing or is there other parts that it looks at? Yeah. So obviously safety is, is a large issue, right? It's very complex. It's very Mm -hmm. multifaceted. It's uh, a difficult problem to solve because, because of how complex it is. So really the focus of this plan is not on all crashes in our region, because I think that would be uh, too too, um, complex of an issue to try to tackle in in a single plan, but where we're, we have our focus is on fatal and serious injury crashes. So we're really trying to impact those or mitigate those crashes that are impacting people's lives. Right. So obviously if someone dies, that's, that's, um, as impactful as it gets. Right. Right. And that impacts folks, families, um, it impacts the community at large. Mm -hmm. And then if you're seriously injured, of course, that's also life altering. And so we want to, again, mitigate the specifically those um, crashes. Okay. I, I think it's, Perhaps too lofty of a goal to try to prevent every crash in the region. No, yeah, somebody just crashed into a transformer last Friday, and uh, I had power out for five hours. You guys aren't worried about that. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, the person who crashed didn't get injured, right? right. So that, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not, yeah. Yep, we're trying to we're <laughs> trying to prevent 
um, those fatal and serious injury crashes that are life altering. Okay. okay. I mean, the bottom line is we're all humans and we're going to make mistakes. Of course. We just want to make sure those mistakes don't cost somebody's life or really right. alter how they have to live the rest of their life. Of course. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what a good goal to have. So for sure. Um, what, what areas of Spokane County does the, um, Safety, at, what am I calling it? The Regional Safety Action Plan. Yeah. <laughs> what is, uh, what, what, what are being, what areas are being assessed? Is it the whole county or is it certain parts? It yeah, it's, it's the whole county. Okay. So we are looking at fatal and severe crashes within the whole county. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll have a regional plan that looks at everything and then each member jurisdiction or agency. So every small town from okay. Rockford to the city of Spokane nice. Valley to the city of Spokane, okay. Liberty Lake will get their gotcha. own individual piece of this okay. plan so that they can apply for future funding either through the federal state safe streets for all grant or state funding or there's also a lot of other grants that they can okay. apply for so each each area will get their own specific plan okay with very detailed data okay <laughs> and now i was um i happened to hop on uh your website Great. and then <clears throat> i clicked a link and it took me to a map that showed mm-hmm. me crash mm-hmm. data and um at home and those watching and listening there's going to be some links in the description for you to check that out as well um but i did want to kind of give a shout out for your website um www srtc.org and then to get to the original safety action plan forward slash rsap for right. slash and then so then that link will be below Great. um but that's kind of the starting point and i know that you have some statistics up there talking about the different crashes and stuff yeah. um, that happened um what type of input are you seeking and and how can people participate um in giving you that input for for this plan yeah so wendy and her team have analyzed five years worth of that crash data that we talked that you talked about mm-hmm. Um, and so we have all of these points on the map that you described. And yeah. so folks can go to that website that you link or that you referenced and look at that map and, and understand where those crashes are happening. It's kind of overwhelming. I have to say it is exactly. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. of information and it kind of hits you when you think like, Oh, each, each dot is a life or a severe injury. And it's just like, well, Whoa. And each think about it too, is each dot is a life, but think about all the other lives that's touched. It, think about the emergency responders. Yes. And what they're what they had to deal with, right? And then friends and family and coworkers. Absolutely. And right. So Absolutely. there's a lot more a lot more impact than those dots. Just yeah, show. that's just yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and so t- to address your question, the the I think one of the limitations of the data is we have to rely on uh, for that data we have to rely on historical crashes, right? So okay. where people were killed or seriously injured in the past. But just because there's not a dot on a map doesn't mean a particular uh, intersection or a particular particular road segment in someone's community isn't unsafe. Right. And so if there is one of those instances in uh, one of your uh, listeners' uh, communities, we want to hear about it. And we right. want them to go to that map that you identified and tell us about it. Okay. And so what they can do when they go to that website is there's a, an interactive mapping tool okay. where they could take, take their mouse and just click on an intersection in their neighborhood oh. and say – um, I think this intersection is unsafe for X, Y, or Z reason. Maybe there's not enough lighting or maybe they experienced a, a near miss at that intersection uh, mm-hmm. where they were almost hit or maybe their kid was crossing the street and, mm-hmm. and, and they were almost hit. So yeah. uh, that's, that's a, that kind of stuff isn't going to show up in the data. And those are the sorts of things that we want to hear about and why we made that mapping tool available. Okay. Do you have a green thumb? Are you new to gardening? No matter your skill level, every season is gardening season at the library. We have an extensive collection of gardening books and online resources that can plant the seeds for new ideas and help you cultivate your indoor and outdoor projects. We also have seed libraries. Our take and give seed libraries are currently accepting donations of vegetable, herb, and flower seeds. Bring your heirloom seeds into a library to share with other gardeners for spring planting. Learn more today at scld.org. And I know this week we have a couple of 
events coming up where people can come in person and talk to you. Um, do you want to share where and when those are? Yeah. So February 27th, we're going to be back here. Okay. We're going to have a table at the at the entrance from 10 to 11. And here is Spokane Valley Library. Yeah. Thank you. Spokane <laughs> Valley Library. That is where we are. Exactly. We are also that same day going to be um, at the Spokane Transit Authority okay. at the Transit Plaza downtown. downtown. Okay. So where people are transferring from all parts of Spokane County to catch yeah. their next bus. We'll be at the Hilliard Library on February 28th, and then we'll be at the Spokane Valley Library back on February 29th. Okay, and you can see all of those at the website we talked about earlier yep. at the srtc.org um, at the Regional Safety Action Plan page. Yes. So, yeah. so our plan is to really try to go to the people and yeah. try to engage with people who don't normally participate in this process. Yeah. So right. if you see us out there, come up and say hi. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> you guys aren't signing, having people sign a petition. You're actually giving them no. valuable information. Yeah, yes. we want to hear from you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Them. And it's also important to hear from people because we have data and we yeah. have points on a map. Right. But the local community really gives us context so we can get the right solution in place. So they may say, oh, yes, I'm. this intersection is bad. Yeah. Here's what I know about it. So right. it gives us that context. Yeah, I'm already, my brain is already turning of like, I, I can, I see several in my brain of like, oh, that spot could use some sort of lights or something. That spot, you know, I know somebody died there. It's probably on the, on the, on yeah. the right. app. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. 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 But if you have experience, then we have better information yeah. about how to solve the problem there. All right. Yeah. And if I could add one thing to what Wendy was saying, another key component of this plan will be to uh, propose solutions. Um, so in addition to studying the problem and, and gathering that public feedback, and um, we, so I mentioned we'll be developing solutions. Those solutions, as Wendy mentioned earlier, will be going out to those jurisdictions so okay. that they can pursue really just ways to improve those intersections or okay. those segments or those safety concerns. So right. those jurisdictions will be applying for funding for things like lighting, for enhanced crosswalks, mm -hmm. for um, pedestrian uh, signal uh, enhancements, uh, roundabouts, great. those sorts yeah. of things. Yeah, so roundabouts are great. The, I know some people hate them. <laughs> some people absolutely hate them, but really, they you can't argue with the safety <clears throat> exactly. data. They are so as much long as, safer as everybody yeah. understands how they work. <laughs> Exactly. I don't know that everybody does. I well, and, and it, it, even if they don't, they're not going as fast. So <laughs> That's true. You yeah. can honk at me all you want, but people are still going around in front of me. I'm not moving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's my turn. Right. And this plan will, will identify those projects, but also important factors like education programs, because we all yeah. have a responsibility to follow the rules right. and to do better. Okay. So we're already seeing in the data, for example, that distracted driving. Yes, is Absolutely. actually causing 20% of the pedestrian fatal wow. and serious injuries. Yeah. So that's people on their phone looking away. Yep. So there's an education component that we can all do a little bit better, whether yeah. we're driving, walking, biking. Right. Yeah. And we can pursue funding to for those programs, yeah. for those education programs. And um, we're, we're hopeful that we'll be able to do that in the next round. Oh, wonderful. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share that we haven't covered yet? That you can well, I could talk about data for three days, <laughs> but I won't do that. My, my to sleep. <laughs> talk a little bit more if you want. <laughs> some some of the folks who love the library love data, so you can talk a little bit. What do you? Yeah, what I think you... the most important thing to say about the data is yeah. we're trending in the wrong direction. Okay, yeah. so the numbers are still increasing, and okay. they're especially increasing for pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorcyclists. Okay. So when you think about it, the yeah. numbers are disproportionately high for those three groups, and there's yeah. not as many of them on the road, and yet they're dying or getting seriously so injured at a higher rate. It sounds yeah. like that distracted driving is a Distracted driving, a big impairment mm. is also impairment, yes. playing a role in that. Speed. Yeah. And speeding. speed. Speed yep. kills, bottom line. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You just don't have a chance when you're a pedestrian against a big steel car well and and you guys are welcoming input from everybody in the county yes. because it's it's you know no matter where you live in the county you could be talking about your neighborhood you where you work the things you've seen and you can get give your input to the srtc and let them know absolutely yeah yep. yeah and we are we're treating you know we've got a rural more rural kind of outside of the city boundaries absolutely. in the less dense areas so we're looking at those just they're just as important and as that's our audience in town that's our audience because that's yes. we serve the whole county i mean 
besides the city of Spokane and Liberty Lake. Yeah. So that's us. Yeah. And so that, those will be very different education and kinds yeah. of projects to yes. address the issues out there. Okay. Yeah. What we see in the rural context is not that there are necessarily a, a lower frequency of crashes, but the, the, the uh, conditions in which people are uh, becoming seriously injured or killed are different. Right. So it's mm-hmm. just as important in the rural context as it is in the urban context. And as Wendy said, we'll be studying both. Okay. Well, great. Thank you both for the work you do. This is amazing. Yeah. Thanks and for thank you. Us. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I hope you head on over to the um, Spokane Regional Transportation Council's website. Give your input. Also, if you're able to come make it to any of the events happening this week, come on down, talk to Mike, Wendy, and their colleagues, and uh, let them know what you think. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>